Okay, here's another little engine I've finished. It's a um, it's based on a series of castings by DJB Engineering. It's uh, an 040 uh, Hunsler saddle tank built in 1894. Uh, it used to run on the Penryn Railway, it now runs on the Festiniog Railway or the Welsh Highland Railway, whichever it happens to be doing that week. And this is a real steam engine, gas fired, radio controlled, and I'll just start it turning over. That's it, running in full, full forward gear. Got inside Stevenson's valve gear. This is a proper steam engine. Runs very smoothly. Now, it's got a saddle tank. With a, um, which is probably filled with water, it has a filler cap there to put the water in. It has an internal pump on the uh, between the frames here, which pumps water round through through here, down back, and into the boiler. Or if you adjust the valve, you're taking too much water, it'll go back round and uh, be pushed back into the tank, or part of it will be pushed back into the tank to recirculate the water. Uh, where I was attaching the um, the uh, the air supply there is a good oil valve, what's used to call a good oil valve for pumping water into the boiler if I need any more than what's being provided by the axle pump. You can see the inside valve gear there. It's operating the valve on top of the cylinder here. Now if I upend it, you know, I'll be able to see some of the valve gear running here. You can see all the valve gear running away there. The actual pump is up at the top. Just that shot. show you now it's back in the position I'll show you it going forward and then in reverse gear there is a servo motor actually attached to the reversing levers in the cab here and the servos down on the floor they're all very neatly tucked away you can see the pressure gauge just here but if I run it in forward gear and then I'll run it in reverse gear that's forward gear and I'm going into reverse gear see the lever here I'll push it back into forward gear running away, runs really fine on the steam. <laughs> 